We're going to basically just do a little quick uh, little video um, on uh, manufacturing. Uh, so the very first thing you're going to want to do, um, as you can see, these like those little uh, hardware uh, pictures right here to the left of the contract screen. Kind of looks like a uh, uh, like a circuit board. Um, so the very first thing that we're going to do um, is we're going to look at Oh, wow, one million for this uh, embedded system here. Um, there's a couple of things that we can look at. We're gonna kind of start a little small. I don't wanna build anything too big here. Um, so we're gonna go with the custom robot. Um, as you can, if you click on the manufacturing, um, you can see that uh, what we need. We need one, two, three, three printers and two assemblers for this. One for a microcontroller, one for a board, one for a body. An assembler for the robot assembly and then the assembler for the final assembly so we're going to go ahead and accept this work now, i don't really think we have to put it on source con source control management um, but as you can see first we don't have anything that's compatible with the assembly lines because we don't have any printers or assemblers installed just yet uh, so it says you don't have any necessary component printers and assemblers for the selected contracts are you sure you want to continue yes um, so you don't have any compatible assembly lines. Um, printing cannot start until you've built one. So we'll hit okay. Um, as you can see right now, this is the hardware and manufacturing, um, uh, tab. And that's in the distribution channel, which is down here on the third column distribution, right? So our contract that we accepted Let's see if we can put this up here. We need to uh, print 166,000, right? So we need uh, three printers to start out with. All right, so let's open this back up to this. So we need microcontroller, a board, and a body. So if we go to our build menu here and we go down to furnish, select distribution, and the very first thing that we're gonna do is a component printer which is what we need. Um, so if you line this up, so we have one printer, which is good. And this thing right here says this is a dead end. So what you're gonna first thing to do is right click, okay? And we're gonna set an output. Um, but first we're gonna go up into the category, uh, which we have various ones. We have a console, operating system, phone, watch, embedded system, quantum computer and what name you. So what we're gonna be selecting is the embedded system. Okay, um, and I think that's wrong. Uh, we were gonna do custom robot, sorry, down here at the bottom. Um, so as you can see, there's a, a, a various things that you can do to put into this robot assembly, but what they need is a microcontroller, a board, and a body. Um, and that's what we need to do. So the very first one that we're gonna do is we're going to select microcontroller and then we're going to copy this one here select the output as a board copy again and then we're going to select the output as the body um, the very next thing that we're going to do now is select some conveyor belts right uh, so let's do this copy And there we go. So now that these, the, these three printers are going to be printing, as you can see, there's a little picture on there of what you need to. Um, so these are the outputs uh, for that specific. All right. Um, so now what we're gonna do is a, an assembly, uh, which is the a component assembler. And we're going to put this right in here. And now we're gonna select our output as the robot assembly. Now, if you go to your overlays and select manufacturing, you should see green lines, um, basically saying these things are compatible to go into this assembly once they're printed. So you're good with that. So now we need to send this guy, which is the robot assembly, to the component assembler. 
which would be the final assembly. And I think I need to move this. Just so that way we have some transparency here. Alright, so we're going to select an output and then we're going to select final assembly. So you should put a recycler after this point and to avoid components piling up. And then this is a dead end. So now that we have this thing set up, the very next thing that we're going to need to do is set up a way for this thing to uh, not build up and also to send stuff down to the um, down to this area so we can export this contract. And so to make this a little bit easier, make some adjustments here. So let's set up our very first one here. Um, all right, and then let's move this here. And let's do it that way. All right, so now we have a way to get our stuff down this way, right? All right, so we just need to set up a couple of pallets. We don't really need that many. I'm gonna say just like uh, maybe five pallets or so. All right, so let's see. One, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we probably don't need that many. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna need is pallet drop-off points. And then we're going to need a um, a conveyor belt that's going to go towards the uh, the pickup. And we're going to need pallet pickups. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, so now we're all set. Now if we go back into our distribution contract, um, it should tell you that we have an available um, assembly line. All right, you can set colors and this, that, and the other. Um, so this is the contract that we have, um, which is Queen Gas Farms Incorporated. And we can also view uh, what we have. And we can also rename um, the assembly line if you want to. And definitely don't need to really worry about that, but that's just some things that we need. Um, so. Right here is our optimal per month is 360,000 per month. Our goal is all 166,000. And we have one month to do this. Um, and as you can see, we should be able to complete this contract. So the very next thing that we're going to do is going to hit uh, the play button and everything should work out as normal. So we're just going to go here and this thing will start spitting out little pieces and it's going to go right into this assembly and it's going to start printing off stuff and then in the, the the finished product will come out of the final assembly into a package and get put on the pallet and then the pallet pickup will put it on the belt and put it on this right here so that way the courier can come pick up their their stuff All right, so here we are. Uh, contract fulfilled for a net worth of 24,000 with zero missing copies. Um, so that's pretty much it for the manufacturing. Um, and it's not too bad. Um, I definitely kind of think it's a little bit kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, tedious. <laughs> but um, you get the picture. It's actually, it's a pretty neat little feature for the game. Um, really haven't done it too much, but it seems pretty straightforward. And I have a lot of uh, experience with Satisfactory too. So um, the the machines that for the outputs and everything, it comes pretty natural. Um, it's pretty easy to understand for me, but um, I know some people are having a little bit of hard time with it. Um, and that's what us and everybody else are experienced players for, are here to help others out and make sure they are getting past some of these, um, I guess you could say bumps in the road as far as what you can and can't do with these manufacturing um, supply lines and everything like that. Um, but I do have to say, you definitely need to make sure you leave yourself some room. Um, it's going to end up looking like spaghetti, um, basically, 
uh, unsatisfactory, which is definitely almost everybody's base. <laughs> Um, but, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. I didn't want to, I don't want to stay too long for the, um, um, uh, on the live stream. I just kind of wanted to make a quick little live stream Q and A for the manufacturing short little tutorial. Um, and this is actually pretty, pretty simple. It's not too far fetched and it's easy to do a first one. And after you start doing a couple of these, you'll, you'll probably get it down packed and you can start taking on bigger projects. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, please, if you don't mind, um, follow me on Twitch if you don't, uh, if you want, and also give me a like, comment, subscribe on YouTube, and uh, I'll see you guys later.